You know, I want to talk about the iPhone 5 again. It's been out for two weeks. It's been getting a lot of praise, but also it's getting some criticism, particularly about the Apple Maps feature. Now, I've been thinking about getting the iPhone, but I want to know what to expect. So I asked one of the writers who has one to give us his personal review. And he's going to do that now. Please welcome Dion Cole. Hey, Dion, come on out. Thanks, Conan. I love my iPhone 5. <laughs> Finally, a phone for the brothers. <laughs> see, see, it has this great new feature that lets you take panoramic pictures. So now you can fit something really long in one frame. Okay. Dion, I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing? It's a sexual bravado, Conan. <laughs> It's our friend Chris Parnell. Chris, did you Hi, say Chris Parnell? Good to see you, Chris Parnell. Did you say sexual bravado? That's right. It's uh, very simple, Conan. Dion is using the familiar racial stereotype of the well-endowed black man <laughs> to praise the capabilities of the new panoramic camera on the iPhone 5. Dion is implying that his penis is too large to be contained in the aspect ratio <laughs> of a normal camera's field of view. A picture of a penis of average length shot from 18 inches away requires a focal length of 58 millimeters. Now, the iPhone's panoramic option simulates a focal length of 0.2 millimeters without the barrel distortion of a fisheye lens. That means Dion's camera could capture the image of an object that is 48 meters long. Now, how long is 48 meters? Imagine NFL quarterback Peyton Manning standing at the base of Dion's shaft. Manning would have to fire a monster 52-yard pass to reach the other end of Dion's penis. <laughs> Dion was implying he has a 52-yard penis. Is that what you meant, Dion? Yes. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you, Dion. Our thanks to Chris Parnell. Thank you, Chris.